Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So, first of all, just got back from China. Sorry, I've been kind of sketchy on the updates. I've been traveling quite a lot, and when I'm in China, basically can't access anything. So, no updates until I get back, and when I am back, I try to do as many of these as possible. So, this is actually one that's been in my queue for a long time, and it's going to expire in four days, but I'm pretty sure it will go to in-demand. Uh, pretty soon so let's talk about it really fast so uh, as you can see this one is way way over its ten thousand dollar goal uh, what is it it is an auto detection Bluetooth smartphone app multimeter the simplest multimeter for everyday person for the everyday person equipped with automatic detection Bluetooth connectivity and a smartphone application so the smart multimeter with auto detection yada 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 okay so what is it, a multimeter if you don't know what a multimeter is, probably you're not watching this, but just in case, this is a multimeter. This is basically a measurement device that's used for measuring uh, electronics and electrical equipment. So it's basically got a little box with some probes on cables, and it's got a dial. Generally, they look like this. Uh, and you can measure DC voltage levels, AC voltage levels, current and resistance in many of them uh, and then you can also measure in this case you can even do some transistor measurements um, and you can do either P and E and HFE and whatever type uh, so yeah that's what a half decent one looks like um, and of course if you run it it's got like you know nice big numbers on there and uh, this one can light up and it can even hold the numbers if you're measuring something Anyway, it's got a hold and it shows negative voltages, yada, yada, yada. And it has a CE certification. So this one even has a stand. Not bad for 20 bucks. And I don't use it that much, but I do use it sometimes. I'm not doing uh, wiring on my motorcycle anymore, so don't need it too often. So someone has decided to do something similar with an app. So there's an app for that. And actually, it's a hardware and a software thing together. So basically... Instead of being probes connected to a box, it's basically just two probes connected to each other that have Bluetooth in it, and it talks to an app running off your phone. And hypothetically, that's actually pretty cool. Um, when I first thought smartphone multimeter, I was like, oh man, that's a bad idea. If I like fry this thing, it'll fry my phone. But because it's Bluetooth, nothing connected. Uh, and then because it's an app, then that means that you know you can customize this, you can upgrade it, you can add new functionality, um, you know for you know the future years so it's sort of future proofed I guess or you know no one ever thought about future proofing a multimeter because it's pretty basic but you could do other things with it um, down the road and that's actually pretty cool uh, and it has some automatic measurement function built into the app because I guess you know the app can do a lot of computation uh, so basically it can check DC AC and resistance and automatically select whichever one it thinks you're looking at or maybe show them all um, and then it can show um, it has some colored LEDs on here which I think you can see here which kind of show the level good or bad or something like that and uh, yeah basically that's how it works let's play the video a little bit if it will play Testing malfunctioning electronic devices with a traditional multimeter is a hassle. Dials, switches, tethered leads, and technical jargon add complexity and difficulty. And keeping track of measurements can be a real pain as well. Mm, yeah, well, you don't use, if you're really measuring stuff, you don't use a multimeter. You use a digital multimeter. <laughs> anyway, I mean, use like a laptop, I mean, a desktop equipment, not a handheld one. Now there's an easier way. Introducing Vion. Dude, you just threw all your electronics on the floor too. The world's simplest Bluetooth multimeter. Vion simplifies testing electronics for malfunctions. It can automatically measure electrical output and send data to smartphones. And the Vion app provides you a live feed of all the electrical measurements taken with Vion. Perfect for your workshop, your home, or your car. So you don't have to worry about looking down at your phone. So it can actually, like, yeah, it's got the light up thing. Vion reads back stored measurements through voice guidance, so you don't have to worry about looking down at your phone. And it can do, I guess, yeah, it can read out the numbers as it goes or somehow give some voice indications. So the, the app is actually 
Voice enabled. Vion gives you a simple good or bad result indicator, so you'll know right away in real time if your device is working properly. Vion has colored LEDs built into the handles for quick visual reference. I suppose for that good or bad one, you'd have to put some threshold in. Um. Reference as well, flashing lights for connectivity status. Use Vion to check if your batteries are running low, if your electronic devices are working correctly, or if there are wiring problems in your home. Vion caters toward both experts and novices, and supports most functions found on traditional multimeters, so contractors and electricians can use it on the job, as well as a boy trying to fix his RC car. So, um, check out this boy fixing his RC car. Reading measurements that Vion collects is easy. He's no boy. So anyway, um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. One thing that I just off the bat don't think is very realistic. On expenses of calling for repairs, anyone can easily use it for countless situations. They're trying to imply like, you don't need to pay for a repair guy now that you have your Vion. Um, I think uh, like even getting a Bluetooth enabled thing to work with your phone is hard for some people. So I wouldn't encourage them to then start plugging such Bluetooth devices into electrical sockets um, just because, you know, because they they suddenly feel emboldened. Unlike other multimeters, Vion has no body, making its paired probes easy to store and carry. Vion. Anyway, so um, yeah, this one is going well in the fundraising thing, and they seem to have a lot covered. But one thing they don't actually mention that I figured out by looking at the comments, there's a couple things that are not going quite so well as it would make it seem. Um, so, first of all, let's look at some of these comments. Um, they've been good with updates and actually answering people pretty frequently every couple of days. Um, but as you can see, by going through this much uh, talking, there's a lot of people complaining about stuff. Um, specifically, things like, why can't I change the battery? Uh, and is it actually certified to be safe? And apparently they're working on that. Um, and yeah, so one big issue is, and this is not just raised by this guy, but one big issue is that this is called a multimeter, but it doesn't actually measure current, which, as you can see here. So you actually have two different plugs that you can put these things in. One is for measuring current, one is for measuring uh, voltage and resistance, and in this case, can also do milliamps from there. Um, but yeah, so current is something that you do need to do sometimes, uh, and the Vion does not do that. So it is, I guess, a multimeter technically, and it can measure resistance and also AC and DC. It's measuring multiple things, but this kind of multimeter can do more. Um, so I don't need to write down numbers. I don't need the storage stuff. I don't need the, you know, the, the cordless thing. You know, this is fine for what I'm using, but I do sometimes need to measure current. So, um, yeah, that's not a good thing. So it has limitations, I would say is one way to put it. Uh, and then personally, I think the lithium ion battery, eh, not the end of the world. It's, it's USB rechargeable. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of this go, going back and forth. People asking about battery life, etc. And also, warranty. So they actually did, just like two days ago, announce that they're extending the warranty. Originally it was like 30 days, now it is 90 days. Um, and that's actually still kind of short. Um, And so basically people are saying like, you know, given how much I have to pay for shipping and how long I might have to wait to get it, the fact that it's only got a 90 day warranty um, really sucks. Basically, why don't I just wait till it comes out um, in the stores and then make sure it doesn't suck. And yeah, so a lot of pretty harsh reaction here. And people are saying at least one year. 90 days equals I'm out. So, absolute no. That's lame and weak as can be. How about a one year? Worth our while.
Ouch, do better. So, um, you know, this is a good this is a good point. I usually don't talk about warranties that much, um, but in this case, it, I think especially for this kind of device where you're going to be zapping shit, um, it's probably a pretty good idea. And I'm glad that the you know the knowledge base of the commenters, basically the backers, has come through in a place where I didn't even think about checking, um, which is, and they bring up a lot of good points, which is the lifetime. I have the warranty life. So, um, yeah, it does have apparently some resistor, uh, some fuses that you can replace inside to protect it, but um, still, apparently can it can do impedance. Where does it say that? It can do impedance and capacitance too, and it can do the diode. So um, it does have some additional things, just not current. Um, anyhow, so this sounds like a good idea in theory, perhaps not in execution. And, oh, one other thing they want, I think their super early bird has already expired. Where is it? All gone. 40 bucks for super early bird. Early bird was 45. You know, they did get, um, how many people? 100 backers here, 100 backers there. Uh, the regular non-early bird is wow 1500 people got that one so they pretty much sold out of the other ones pretty fast but this one's 50 bucks so again i paid 20 bucks for this it can measure current doesn't have voice control but hey who needs that this has been you know this i've been using ones like this for decades um and they work just fine for most people um and again the other thing is if I was a grandma, I think like literally they show a grandma in here somewhere. If I was a grandma, I wouldn't recommend this type of device. Here we are. Come on, grandma. You can't even use your phone, much less a Bluetooth uh, accessory, much less do I want you sticking anything anywhere near an electrical outlet or any kind of electronics. So uh, maybe I'm being an ageist, but I am stereotyping grandmas. There are some great electrical engineering grandmas out there. Um, actually, I should be careful. My, my uh, PhD advisor is now a grandma too, so, and she's pretty sharp. So, okay. Um, yeah, kids too, kids too, for sure. Okay. So that's it for today. I think maybe give this one a thumbs down until they add a one year warranty and they make it cheaper. Okay. See you guys later.